Imam al-Ghazali has a wonderful, um, it's a very short uh, letter that he wrote uh, called Al-Anqa. And the Anqa is the phoenix. It's, it's, uh, you know, it, it's the western phoenix, the Anqa Mughrib. Uh, it, it was a bird that they believed only appeared once every 500 years. But in, in the story, and he, it's a literary motif that he's using called a maqama. But in the story, he, he, he talks about how everything in the, in, in the world has kings. The ants have kings, the queens have kings. The, the, bird, the, 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 the bees. The bees have queens. The birds all get together and say, we don't have a king. We need to go find the king. Who's the king of the birds? It must be the Anka. And so they all set out to find the bird. It's an incredibly difficult journey. They're, they're having a horrible time. There's, there's storms, there's wind, there's all these things. And it's so difficult. And they all want to give up. But they keep going. They help each other. And they support each other. That's the idea of the ecclesia in, 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 in Orthodox Christianity. The church, the minion in Judaism, the jama'ah in Arabic. It's the community of believers. It's this idea of people actually helping each other, reminding each other to stay on the spiritual path. Because it's so easy to fall away. One of the wonderful things about birds is that when they fly in their winged migrations. When they fly, they fly in these formations. The first one, his wings, their movement, creates an actual space in the, in the air that makes it lighter for the next ones. Those then uh, work their wings that makes it lighter for the next ones. The ones at the very ends have a very light trip. So what they do is they rotate. And, and it, it enables them to make transcontinental migrations. They literally cross the ocean. People forget that, that birds cross the ocean. But they do it working together. And that's the metaphor that he's using to search for God. That this is a collective work. It's private work. Each one's doing his own job. But it's also a collective work. And this is the fraternity. The, of, of you know the brothers and the sisters that, that are willing to do that work and to help each other and to know that not only are they going to stumble on the path and trip uh, they're, they're also going to have doubts on the path they're going to have there's a lot of things that are going to happen uh, but in the end what's beautiful in this is that the birds when they finally meet the phoenix and, and they're like look how we've struggled so, and, and, and the phoenix says do you think I would have invited people that weren't willing to make those journey, uh, those difficulties? And, and they're all like, well, we did it ourselves. See, that's still the ego. The, the ego hasn't given up. The last thing to go, according to Imam al-Ghazali, is love of leadership. It's the ego. It's the me. I did this. Look at me. I'm right at the door of God. And, and he says you can't get in until you give even that up. And so he, he, he mapped it out. And now the other thing that's very profound about Imam al-Ghazali, I think, is that he's reminding us that this is science. It's science. This is experimental science. You want the results? Just replicate the, uh, the experiment and you'll get the same results. You want to know God? Here's the path. I've mapped it out for you. Set out on the journey. I promise. If you set out on the journey, you'll arrive.